Dear students, today we will further explore different search operators in searching for the Google. So one of such search op operator is stocks. So if you want to search about a particular brand that what is the stock market or stock trend of that particular brand at the moment, then you can try it on Google with this option like you can write stocks colon and the stock name so for example I am interested in Apple so I want to see the search results of Apple so you can see that it is giving me the company name and what is its current stock market and what are the trends even at different time locations at time for example at 12 p.m. it was at this position and at 4 p.m. it is downwards and the trend is that in the next couple of hours it will grow upward so using this kind of trend you can or even different people invest in stock market to get some profit so such a search can be performed on Google with tag or search operator stock and it is also giving you some other useful information as well. Then another operator is map. So if you want to see a map of a particular location like map Lahore. So it will give you the map of Lahore so you can see that Lahore is consisted of this particular blue line which you can see this is the boundary of city Lahore and it is also telling you that what is nearby Lahore so while using map you know you might have learned in your previous classes that upward is north and then right is east then south is downward and west is left side so you can search that where is Lahore or where is a particular city and what are their surrounding different places so for example you can also try Karachi so this is the map of Karachi and then of course you can go inside the map to see further information you can even search nearby locations you can share you can get directions so for example if you want to say that I want to be at Karachi from Lahore you can try this option as well and it will give you a map from Lahore to Karachi and it is saying that it will take about 17 hour and 45 minutes from Lahore to Karachi via car so such options you can explore and go in further details then there is another search tag with movie so you can write movie and for example you write Steve Jobs I think most of the students studying in computer science must know about Steve Jobs Steve Jobs is a founder of Apple Incorporation and there is a movie released about Steve Jobs recently and if you write movie colon Steve Jobs it will give you information about that particular movie and you can see that it is giving you Wikipedia link of the movie and then IMDB rating of that movie and this is this, these are different clips of that particular educational scientific movie uh, which is telling the struggling life of Steve Jobs then you can also compare different foods for example if you want to compare a food you can go on a web link to foods dot com so for example you are health conscious and you want to see that what are the nutrient values of two different foods 
So, for example, you want to see that should I eat pizza or burger, you have typed both of the things in different text boxes upward and then you are given with different options. It is telling you about different calories and different nutrients facts of both foods. So, whatever you want to compare, you can compare here. Then there is another tag known as define. So, you can use define for example, Steve Jobs. So, it will define Steve Jobs that who is he, what has he accomplished and what is a particular definition. So, let us try another for example, English term like I want to define computer. So, it will define you the term and it is the definition of that particular term for which you were you wanted to find. So, with using term define you can find the definition in the dictionary of that particular term. Then there is an, an, another interesting um, thing in, in Google that you can search images by using an image. So, for example, I have searched virtual university images and I have selected this image and I want to further search similar images to this image. So, I will copy image address from here and there is a dedicated server on Google known as images.google.com and here you can use this option. You can upload an image, you can take a picture of the image or you can paste the web address of that image. So, if I paste this image web address then images.google.com has given me all of these images which Google think are very related or similar to the this image which we have given as a query and of course, you can see that these are quite similar to the query image. So, this is very helpful for example, when you do not know the name of a particular thing, you can just take the picture of the thing and you can paste it here and search similar images. Then there is another interesting option on Google known as tilt. So, for example, if you search in Google tilt, you can see Google tilt option here. This is for fun and if you click on it, it will give you a tilt tilted Google and you can perform number of options like it has revolved it at 360 degree and you can also find some other interesting features of Google on this tilt option. So, if we summarize today's lecture, today we have learned about stock, how to search about stocks, about maps, how to search for a movie, how to find a definition of a particular term and how to search an image by giving image as a query rather than text. And we have explored recently a very interesting feature, tilt of Google. Thank you very much.